Okay, today we're going to make a program that checks whether or not an ISBN number is valid. Okay, so you can see that I've set up um, my project and a little intro class here. I've imported the scanner um, just to save us some time. But uh, so let's read in our ISBN number with our scanner. And we're going to initialize a string called ISBN to hold that. Now, if you look at the back of a product, you'll see that the ISBN can sometimes contain spaces or dashes, and we don't uh, we don't want to, to our program to be contingent upon a, one set of formatting or another. So we're going to just strip out the spaces and the dashes, just so we just we just have the number digits. We're going to do that by replacing with the empty character. So one way we could do this is with the replace method, where we give it a string like this. So we're going to, that, that, that's a space, and we're going to replace with an empty string. And you know, one nice thing you can do in Java, whoops, let's fix this. One nice thing you can do in Java is you can sort of chain these function these method calls onto each other so we can do another one to replace a dash like that so we can absolutely do that but since i like regular expressions and it's the notation is a little more compact i'm going to do it like this So this replaces all occurrences of either a space or a dash with an empty, empty string. OK. So now, so the first thing we can check is since we know ISBN numbers are either 10-digit or 13-digit, we can check and make sure that those are correct. And we'll, what we'll do is, depending on whether it's a 10 or 13 digit number, we'll um, uh, send it to a one, one method or another. Oh, let's close our scanner here. OK, so. We're going to make a flag, which we're going to call is valid. We're going to set it equal to false to start. So if it's 10, then we get whether or not it's valid from check ISBN, a, fun, a method that we're going to call check ISBN 10. We haven't made it yet. But we will. Similarly, if it's of length thirteen, we're going to send it to a different method like this.
And if it's if it gets to here, then we know it's neither of length 10 nor 13, so it must not be a valid valid ISBN. Okay, and then let's just finish up this main part of the of the uh, program. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now, but now we have to do the hard part, which is implement these two methods. Okay, so let's do that. These are going to be private static Boolean methods. Take in a string argument. So I'm going to write the Java dot comment really quickly. And notice how after I've written the method here, it automatically populates this parameter uh, doc, which is which is nice. And let's just make the method for the 13. Okay. We sort of have our skeleton set up here. Oops, let's fix this. And let's get started. So what we're gonna do when we have 10 digits is we're going to sum the digits each times 10, nine, and so on down to one respectively. So the first digit is multiplied by 10 and the last digit is multiplied by one. We're gonna initialize our counter for digit for D. We have 10 of them. Now, if the digit is one of the first nine digits, so basically if D is less than nine, because remember the D is starting at zero, or, so if this is not the case, so basically if this is true and, and operating C is an, an or here, then it's just gonna skip, it's not even gonna evaluate what comes after the or because we know at least one of them is true, so the whole expression must be valid. So we only get to this part here if this expression is false, i.e. if D equals nine. So we're on our last digit, our 10th digit. So, or if ISBN dot substring, and actually let's make another, let's make an, another variable called D string. to represent the particular digit. And what this does, what, this, what the string.substring method does is it gets the string starting at index D and going up to, but not including index D plus one. So this basically just gets a string of one character. So, we're gonna say, so if this does not equal X, So basically, we, we get to this in this loop in here, this, this part, inner part of the conditional, excuse me, if either we're in the first nine digits or if the last digit is not an X. So if either of those is the case, 
then we just add this to our sum, our digit string, which we're going to parse into an int integer. And it's going to be times 10 minus d, right? So the first d is 0, so 10 minus d is 0, so the first one we're going to multiply by 10. The next number we multiply, next digit we multiply by 9, and so on. Hopefully you see how that works. So we get to here if both of these conditions are false. So if both d equals 10, excuse me, if d equals 9, and d string equals x. If that's the case, so the x is a special case representing 10, we're just going to add 10 like that. All right, so hopefully that is clear what's going on in here. Now, we're going to return a Boolean expression, which of course is just, which is just evaluated, so it returns a Boolean value. And uh, we know that our number is valid if the sum modulo 11 is 0. Basically, this sum should be sum, uh, should, should be a, a uh, multiple of 11. Okay, so let's, let's do it for the 13-digit ISBN number. So in the, thir the 13 digits, it's a little bit different where we, we, base we basically calculate the sum of the digits uh, up and including the last one times just one and three alternating. And here we don't have any value, X, possible value X, we just have values zero through nine. So if we have an odd digit, then we multiply by 1. And if we have an even digit, then we multiply by 3. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to change it even more. I'm going to say deval because we can do this parsing right here. Because we can do this because unlike in the 10 10 digit ISBN scheme, whoops. There's no there's no possible X character. So that, that if we had that, that would mess up our you know parsing up here. That's why we need this right here to handle the case where we may have an X. But since the 13 digits string doesn't have that, we don't have to worry about it. So now we can make our code even more elegant and just do it like this. All right, so that looks good. And normally down here, maybe we would add the checksum digit um, to ensure that uh, the first 12 digits sum accordingly. But since basically all that does involves is just adding the digit, we can just, instead of doing the first 12, we'll just do all the 13. So. That's going to be that last one guy there. And that should do that. That should work. 
And finally, we just return whether or not this whole thing, modulo 10, is 0. Basically, it should be a multiple of 10. Okay, so let's test it out on a couple of things. All right, so here's one ISBN. I'm just stealing from the back of a book here I have in front of me. Okay. So that's valid. Let me just copy and paste this to make things easier. What if we put in that value but change that last thing to 1? So hopefully this will say it's not valid. Yeah. Of course, if we do something and just totally mess it up, we should have not valid. Good. And how about how about a 13 digit number? Here's another book I have in front of me. Right. Okay, that is valid. So hopefully you believe that our ISBN checker is working and You've learned a little bit about more about how to get extract out substrings and split code into methods. And yeah, so that's all for today and good luck in your future projects.